be talking about post-harvest fisheries. An introduction. Aquatic resources of our country do not only serve as a source of food, but are important economically. Why? It is because they can provide job opportunities, income, and foreign currency for the people and the country when exploited in a sustainable way. Oh, yay! What do you think is the present situation of the products in the aquatic environments? The potential to harvest more products from aquatic environments is now very much limited. Production is decreasing as more and more fisheries are getting heavily or over exploited. The world traditional species were fully exploited, over exploited, depleted, or in the process of rebuilding due to depletion according to power. Simultaneously, the demand for protein worldwide is increasing as the human population grows. How to cook the shortage between production and demand? One means of reducing the shortage between production and demand is to efficiently utilize aquatic resources by the application of effective processing technologies to reduce post-harvest losses and wastage. What is fish processing technology? Fish processing technology includes the different processes and techniques employed in the post-harvest handling, processing, and marketing of aquatic products from the time of harvest to final utilization or consumption. What is the main purpose of the application of processing technology in aquatic products? The main purpose is to delay and or prevent spillage. What is spillage? Spillage is the process by which fish is rotten or decayed and no longer fit for human consumption. What causes spoilage? Spoilage is brought about by microorganisms, enzymes, and physical or mechanical means. This is especially when handling the products is not correct. What are the different processes? and techniques employed to delay and prevent spoilage. The different processes and techniques that is employed to delay or prevent spoilage are fish curing, canning, freezing, and refrigeration. What is fish curing? Fish curing includes all the methods of fish preservation except canning and refrigeration. Now, what are the methods of fish curing? The methods of fish curing includes salting, drying and dehydration, smoking, and pickling. What is salting? Salting is the application of salt to fish to lower the moisture content. So it is a method of fish curing wherein the moisture content of the fish is lowered to a point or to a degree where bacterial and enzymatic activities are retarded through the process of osmosis. How about drying? Drying is the process which the removal of moisture is affected by exposure of the products to the natural heat of the sun or current of air. 
while dehydration is the process of removing moisture from the product by artificial means. What is smoking? Smoking preserved through the combination or a combined effects of drying, salting, heat treatment if it is pre-cooked, and the deposition of chemicals produced from the burning of wood. And pickling is one of the process of fish curing wherein preservative action is due to the combination of vinegar, sugar, salt, and spices. How about canning? So canning is a process by which fish is placed in an airtight container or a hermetically sealed container wherein microorganisms are destroyed by high pressure heat. It produces an artificial a commercially sterilized products that is self-stable for several months. While freezing and refrigeration is the process of lowering the temperature of fish to a point or degree where microorganisms is inactivated. Those are the introductory part of post-harvest fisheries. Thank you!